What's going on guys? Um, I had several comments on how I was able to do this multicolor on the carve and uh, today I'm going to show you exactly how I did this um, and I'll show you the cutters that I used and the whole process of uh, using ore mask and uh, stopping between each carve and painting it up. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I've got to cut the size. I'm going to do just a, a quick sponge uh, sand on it. I like to do this, kind of get any of the, the raised wood off your board. Nothing too extreme. And then just wipe it off. Okay, next. This is the stain. It's a uh, semi-transparent color stain, barn red. You can use any color you want, but today's video is going to be barn red. And that's the same as what I did the other day. Uh, you just take your phone applicator and you brush it on. Let's uh, take this off here. And I'll let that set on for, uh, I'd say about, about a minute or so, honestly. Not too long. Uh, just use your basic shop rag. Don't you all know this? I, <laughs> this may be too much of a detail, but I told you I was going to make one. And then I just kind of wipe it off, any excess. And you want to wipe with the grain. Because you will see it if you wipe against the grain. It will leave different, different marks on your material. So while the stain is drying, I'm going to go over uh, all the products I use. Okay, again, this is the color of stain right here if you can see that okay that's drying now um, I use this aura mask which is right there I bought this off of uh, Amazon um, I can't remember the width I think it's 15 15 or 16 inches no 12 12 inches wide This is what I'll put on it before I start the carve. Um, the two bits that I'm using, this Amana right here, 90 degree V bit. Uh, the number is RC45711. And I'll put a link in the description of this bit. This bit's amazing. Uh, it's got a real indexable insert. Uh, it's got four different sides so once one side gets dull you can flip it you can basically this is four four tools or four runs without having to replace a full amount of bit like the brazed insert ones like this one right here this is a 60 degree but I'm telling you if, if it chips right here the, the or it gets dull, the whole thing is done. You 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 can you can resharpen these if you know somebody that can, but these I recommend. They cost a little bit more, but it saves you money in the long run if you use this a lot. I use this one a lot. This this is uh, beginning to be my go-to bit. I have a 60 and a 45 that I can also use. Here's my 60. That's a big that's a big router bit. This one works really well. This, 
for more of the fine detail stuff, and here's my 45. And this one's, uh, these are okay. The inserts are a little, a little more costly. You only get one use out of the insert, but uh, they cut really well. Anyway, back to the bits we're using today. And I've got this eighth inch Amata bit right here. You can see that. This bit right here is fantastic. Um, Amana is expensive. So I've used this one a lot. This one's starting to get dull on me. Um, I did order another one, but I also ordered a white side. Um, people have said those are uh, really good. So I figured I'd give it a shot, but I did buy another one of these. And these are about 40 bucks a pop. Kind of expensive. So. Uh, it's good to take care of them, but also you get really good carbs, okay? The white I'm using right here This is just an acrylic paint you can pick it up at Walmart or any, any of your hobby stores We're using black That'll be for the the letters and the beer handle and then the yellow of course for the brew anyway, um, I think the stain's about dry. Let me check it and then we'll put the oil mask on it and we'll load it up and we'll get cutting. Okay, so this is dry. So now we will add our oil mask on. Okay, what I like to do is flip it over because it's got little grid lines on the back. Just kind of set it on your material, roll it out, find the next common line, and take your scissors and cut right across there. Also use just a credit card or an old card or some something to help apply this. So th this is kind of the, the tricky part by yourself. Sometimes I've had my wife help me on large projects, but uh, you want to take this off here. Okay. Okay, what I always do is I, I kind of try to fold the, the white backing back. I try to get the sides lined up the best as I possibly can. This is not easy, especially when you're trying to do a whole board. I'm trying to keep it even and straight as you go down. That's where this guy comes into play. So I just kind of work it like this as I go down. And I'll, I'll grab underneath the white backing paper and I'll just keep using this card and I'll just keep pushing it until it's all applied. Okay, and then you kind of smooth it out the best you can. Get all the air bubbles out. You don't want air bubbles. Cut in one of them chances are it's going to curl up while it's carving and then at that point it'll just be a one color carve because trying to get paint I'm not good at uh, staying in the lines and uh, this just makes it a lot better. I've also come to find that after I use this card I will take a rag which in this case is an old pair of <laughs> recycled undies and I will rub the crap out of it. <laughs> okay, no pun intended there. Just rub the ore mask on. This actually helps get really into the fibers of the wood, kind of sticks on it. The good thing about when you pull this off, it, it shouldn't, and it'll probably make a liar out of me today, is pull this stain off but it shouldn't I think I think we're in good shape anyway so that's it right there
Okay, now let's uh, get it on the old X-carb and get going. Real quick, before we go to the X-carb, you see I have some excess overhang. I do like to trim that off because sometimes when you put a clamp here, it'll actually make that ore mass bubble up there. And I try to, I, I don't want any of that happening. So I'll just take a razor blade and I'll just run it right along with the wood. And just remove the excess. Okay, now. Okay, so here in Easel, I bought this file off of Etsy, the beer, cold beer logo, or the sign. So we want to import it. Okay, don't be alarmed. It all comes in black. Okay, that is because the outer, if you set this to zero and go to edit and send to the back, there's your logo. Okay, in today's video, I'm using 12 inch wide edge glued pine. So for right now, the material, I'm going to set the length here. That'd be, no, sorry, the X, it's already at 12. So we're gonna leave it here. We're gonna leave it right here for now. But I wanna make this sign as big as I can and fit inside this, this 12 inch wide edge glued pine. So I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, go to my shape, I want to lock this aspect ratio. So when I set the width to fit inside my board, it will all it, it'll all size properly. So on the width, I'm going to set this to 11.5. So now this fits inside of, a, of my 12 inch wide. Um, so this is where I go to see the length of board I need. So with it being set 11.5, I need at least at minimum 18.48. So over here we're gonna we're gonna put in the 12 by 19, and the thickness. They say it's three quarter, but it's actually 0.71. I did measure this. Okay. So here, here's our wood, it's all set up. Now I'm going to move this because if I cut on this edge, it's gonna cut outside. I wanna make sure I cut this whole, the whole, the whole shape. So here, since I made it a half inch shorter on, on the width from a 12, I'm gonna go a minus point, or I'm gonna go plus 0.25. And I'm gonna go 0.25 here. So now I know if it's within my wood. So on this outer box here, you can set it to cut on the outside of shape and set this to cut through. But this is going to be a multi a multi stage carve here. <clears throat> Whenever I set my carves up like this, I always keep the the full logo on the on the front page here. And what I'll do is I'll just rename this. This is the uh, full. Full file, and then I'm going to duplicate this because we're going to have white, black, yellow, and then the profile. So this will be white. So I'll go ahead and name this white, and then, and then I'm going to duplicate this one, and I'm going to rename this one. We're going to call it black. And then I'm going to duplicate this one. And I'm going to rename it yellow. And then I'm going to duplicate one more time for the profile. Okay, so right here for the white I'm going to just cut the serve here and the ice cold. So we need to get rid of everything else. So you can highlight it, hold it on shift, 
and you can unselect what you want to keep try not to move things to sometimes when you're clicking on stuff it could move on you anyway okay that's what we want to keep so we're going to delete the rest okay so right here this is our color white so I'm going to be using an eighth inch well first of all let's set the cut depth okay I'm gonna cut this at point one deep so I'm gonna use an eighth inch a mana bit I don't have it labeled a mana I still use the the uh, inventables it doesn't matter as long as the diameter is correct you're fine and then I'm gonna add the 90 degree bit which I did make one just called it a mana and it is right here one's gonna be too rough the other one's gonna be to finish so we have the eighth inch and the 90 in the cut settings I do have the upgraded package on my x carb so I can run this a little a bit faster I'm going to set this to 60 inches a minute and 30 plunge and right here I want to finish pass so to get a finish pass if you punch in 090 what it does it'll cut 90 deep and then the next pass will come back and it'll cut 10 and I, I like this because sometimes it'll leave some uh, little furs on the on the edge on the floor that last pass of 10 goes in there and cleans it up pretty well so on the 90 degree v bit this one i'm going to run at 40 which i could probably run this a lot faster but for this video purposes we're going to run it like this and i'm going to do the same here so it'll rough it'll kind of it'll make a few passes and you get a nice clean edge so with that said we'll simulate it and you can come in here you can hide your material you can so you can see both paths in here you've got the plus 90 and then the net pass and that looks good okay so th this is the card for the white now we'll go to the black in the black we do this well in for what i'm doing i'm doing this outline here of the arrow not the the full outline but these broke up lines of the arrow and i'm doing the the b the e the r and then i'm going to do this handle right here so same thing highlight you can either highlight or you can delete them individual, whichever way you want to do. So I just hold it on shift and I click what I do not want to delete. And then we'll delete that. Okay, so this this is gonna be our black and Right here, we're gonna use the same bits, the eighth inch, we're gonna add the, the 90 degree V bit, doesn't have to be a mana, whichever your favorite is. Uh, same thing here. Oop. Okay, cut settings, what do we have that at? I think I had it at 60, 30. 60 30 40 25 we're going to do the same thing here i'm going to do the manual manual 60 30 we're going to do the same 0.09 i'm going to do the 40 20 and the same 0.09 Okay, I need to make sure I had that the same. Oop. Okay, 4025. Okay, 
we need to set this depth right here. We're going to set it at 0.1. And now we're, let's see what this looks like. Okay. So, okay, that's our black. Oh, this one's yellow. We need to rename this one yellow. Man. Okay. Same thing. Oh, no. You know what I did? Okay, right here. Well, guess what happened? I got rid of the the head of the beer. This should have been white. So we need to bring this white back. <laughs> we need to bring it white back. Okay, so that was done. So we're going to hold it on this. We're going to select these right here. We're going to copy. We need to bring them into here and control V paste. Set this at a 0.1. Sorry about that, guys uh, and gals. And I forgot one more little piece. This guy right here. Let me set this into point one. Okay. Since I did a control V and I copied the original from here, everything, as long as you copy and paste and don't move, it will all still come in just fine. Point one. Let's check this out. Okay, that looks good. Black, we've got the black. This is the yellow. So the yellow is the mug. So I, let's see here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. control Z. Okay, so I'm going to highlight the entire project again. And I want to hold in on shift and select what I want to keep. Okay. And hit delete. There's our brew. This is what we want for yellow. So we're going to highlight this. We're going to go point 0.1. And in this one, I'm not going to do the amount of bit. I mean the, the eighth inch. I am just going to go to the 90 degree V bit. And we will set the same cut settings if memory serves right. It was 40, 25, and we're going to put this at 0.1. Okay, the, I mean, 0.1. The reason I'm doing this one, it is a big pocket. It starts in the center. It works its way out. Um, I did this on my first one. I did it on another one. And this is my third one, and it has worked just fine. You could probably get away with not doing the finished pass just because there's not a whole lot of carving on this. But I just wanted to show you the way I made this. So right here we have the yellow. We've got it set to 0.1. We have our cut settings 2.1. We have our 90 degree B, B bit, and we will check it out. Okay. And with my V-bit, I always use the offset. I like it starting in the middle and working its way out. And you could, since my grain direction is heading in this would be um, up and down, I could change this cut setting on my eighth inch to right here, which is preferred because it will be cutting with the grain, not against it. You'll have less splintering and less rip out. This here, we can do the same. Let's say this cut setting on the rough, we can go along the Y axis. So, okay, so we've got our white, our black, our yellow. Now we need the profile. So you can select it all or hit Control A, hold in on Shift, select the profile, hit Delete. And this is our last cut. Highlight it, you, we're cutting all the way through. The tabs, in this one I will use five. I will, 
set this. Oh no. Let me zoom in on this. This has always been kind of a pain to grab these little tabs at times. We'll put that guy right there. We'll bring this guy right up in here. Let me zoom out. Let's check this out. I'm going to bring this guy right on down over here. And this one I'm going to bring up here. Now, that may be too much. Um, a lot of people use the tape and glue method. If you use that, you don't need tabs. Uh, just shut it off right here. And then you can use your tape and glue method, and it will just stay right where it needs to be. So anyway, eighth inch, eighth inch down cut. Okay, yeah, yeah. So right here, I will do 60. We will do a plunge of 30. And we will cut at point one each pass. So we will simulate this. Hide the whoa. Okay, hide the material. And you can see our tabs right there. Right there. Right there, right there, and up there. Okay. That's pretty much it. Um, so we're ready to carve. Let's uh let's get it running. Okay. So now we got the aura mask on. Now we're going to load it up. This is uh, just like any other job anybody would do here. Okay, wood's down, we're going to set a set point and we'll get to carving. This is the white carve, so get your white out. And now it's time to paint what you just carved here. Now <clears throat> we need to let this dry for about Oh, 10 minutes or so, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll do the black. Okay, now we're all dry. One thing I do do, just in case there's a little bit, I'm kind of rushing this a little bit. If there is still a little bit of damp paint, um, I'll just take this tape right here and I'll just cover up. ready to uh, carve the black. Put some black paint on. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got the brew cut, and since I can hold off on painting that until after the profile's done, so that's what I'm going to do now. We've got the, the yellow brew painted and now we will uh, let this dry and then we'll take off the, all the tape and the orange mask. Okay, so it's been about every bit of two minutes. I'm impatient and uh, let's rip this off and see what we got. Okay, there it is. Hey, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, 